All right. Yeah, still gotta be careful. If anyone's there, if you can hear me, I'm just playing. I'm trying to figure out how to get this to go. Uh, Don't forget, guys, I'm on live, okay? Yeah, that's, that's you too, Danny. You gotta be quiet. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure who's around. Um, let's see. This is tough trying to figure all this out. I hate letting my live streams go when they're boring for the first thing. Little bit of time here. Not even live. Yeah, I'm live. Oh. I know, Bobby. How come this is? Yeah, I'm not watching it myself. I'm not going to show this. Oh. Sorry, my Cujo dog. Oh, jeez. My Cujo dog. Did you hear that? He sounds terrible. Did you hear that? He sounds terrible. Yeah, did you hear him on there? I got this on still, but all right. It says one watching, that could be myself. All right. All right, so is there anybody even here? I don't know. So I'm trying to get this all. All right, so we got the YouTube live over here. And there's a chat. I don't know how this works. Okay. Um. Hopefully we'll get people coming here. If anyone's around, please say hello. I could see my own writing here. Yes, it takes a while because they change everything. You start to finally figure out how to get on. 
and then all of a sudden they change it on you. And there's other new things in there. So, and you might hear my Cujo dog. I don't know. He gets like that every now and then. It makes noise. <laughs> So, I guess maybe while we're reading, let's see if anybody comes by to hang out with me, I'm going to um, color, color some butterflies. Okay. I'm still drinking coffee. I'm trying to get my phone and everything all sitting up over here okay um what i'm doing i thought it was the rain ranger melting pot um i'm warming up uh some of the uh ultra thick embossing powder i have another one somewhere they have like a another kind i believe that's from this one here but um so anyhow what i'm doing with this is obviously you know i'm trying to melt it getting it nice and hot. And I'm gonna show you what I do with um, my butterflies that I'm making with that. So we're gonna get that nice and hot. And you need the um, silicone type of stuff because of this, uh, this sticks really good on everything. Yeah, so the, the silicone female thin pot is what you need. You don't have to buy specific stuff that they sell, it's just any kind of, I even got these here. So I'm going to show you how all that works, but I'm going to add a little more of the um, embossing inside because it's not, it needs a little more. And yeah, I know it gets like that, the color and stuff, but you just put it in and it melts. So I'm going to leave that sitting there. I'll leave that there for a little bit to melt. And while we're doing that. I can try to color on some butterflies here while we're waiting for somebody. I have no idea what colors I want to even use. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm coloring these butterflies. I can never have enough butterflies. Um, I had a butterfly stamp that I used. And what I did was I just stamped out all these butterflies on, um, you know, one piece of paper. And then I put it in my printer and then I print them out on um, some cardstock, not not printed paper, just cardstock. And it's, I don't know, it could be maybe 65 pounds or so. I'm not sure. It, it, I, my computer doesn't take, um, it, and the printer won't be so heavy in there. But anyhow, what I'm doing is, is I'm coloring, in, coloring the butterflies, which is very therapeutic. So just sitting there coloring away, and then I end up with, um, let's see. All right, so I ended up with a bunch of these butterflies that I colored and I cut out, and I just did like all different, you know, colors on them, just plain, no rhyme or reason, just wanted to cut them, I mean, color them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to stop my dog from barking. <laughs> All right. So what I did is I colored a bunch with my um, Prismacolor, just Prismacolor color pencils. That's it. And um, this is uh, what I did after I colored these here. It's kind of hard talking. Oh, hi, Vanessa. It's nice to see somebody there. <laughs> I'm like, how am I going to do this just talking to myself? It's like I'm making a regular video, right? I think it would just be live, it would be easier just to get it up there. But um, so when you have these butterflies, I just, all I did was just color them with my uh, Prismacolor pencils, color pencils. You can use any colored pencils. And so after I did that there, I stuck them in the melting pot. And they look so pretty. They look all, look at that. That's only, um, that's colored pencil. When it entered in there, I guess it just came out like that. It's just pretty. Maybe it like. I don't know, bled into each other, but it came out really nice. And then what I did on the back was I used um, Distress Oxide. And I used the black soot, I believe. And I just, you know, went over the back. So the back had color. So when it was up, 
because I didn't realize that the back of a butterfly is, you know, not the same. It's just gray on the bottom. I'm just, um, what I'm doing, I don't know what, to be honest, I, I, I want these butterflies. We can do anything with these butterflies later. I can make them on, I don't know which one of my kids are coming up the stairs. Oh, I'm live, okay? I'm live. Um, so you can make paper clips. You can do anything was it uh, that you want with these butterflies later. You can even put magnets and make them a magnet for your refrigerator. That's what I love about playing with the melting pot and you gotta clean it was it and uh doing all um you could you could just make anything with these i love them but oh yeah you can put them on um close pins yeah see this is what happens that's why i don't usually go live because i got all my family and then i get all i lose my train of thought and stuff and they're trying to talk to me but all right so i want to show you how to do the melting pot It can get messy. Um, it's a little work sometimes, but if you like things nice and, uh, I mean, look at that. Look, it's so pretty. And it um, it helps like leave like a coating over your paper. So, you know, if it did get wet or anything, but let me see. Try to see. But you can just put this, you can put this definitely on a clothespin or anything you want. I was thinking maybe doing some type of a, a canvas or something and adding them on there somehow. I don't know. But I just want to make a lot of these because even magnets, butterflies, that'd be really pretty. Or if I just have them as embellishments or to send as gifts. But okay, I'm going to show you. So what I did. First, obviously, is, you know, I colored all my butterflies. Then, of course, you have to get your melting pot up to the right temperature. And then make sure that it's, um, all your embossing is dissolved. You do get bubbles. I gotta say, you definitely do. Um, now you have to be really, really careful because this is hot. And I believe like the embossing powder is plastic. So, you know, that's like hot plastic and you definitely don't want this on your hands or anything because it hurts. It's, it's happened. What's good about this too, is that when this dries on here, you can just pick it off and put it back in and reuse it, it'll melt again. So that's what's good. And make sure you have some type of a non-stick something to put them on after you put them in. But I've been, here's the butterfly. You might also want to um, manipulate the butterfly to how you want it before you stick it in. Kind of helps a little bit to how you want to, you know, keep your butterfly. So, hi, Gail. Yeah. Oh, there goes my Cujo. Yeah, so you can make the butterfly however you want. That's what I like about it, too, because you know, it might crack a little bit. What you do is you use your heat gun. And you can manipulate your um, butterflies as well with that afterwards. So you can use the heat gun and you can get extra stuff, but I'll show you. All right, so I'm going to stick this in my butterfly. And yeah, it can be a little messy and yucky. And the bubbles. So I put it in there. This here is like those nonstick things. Um, all right, so now... Let's see. Now I got to get this out. And the thing is that it does drip. So you got to like trying to get it off. But the little spots where your, your uh, whatever these things are called, the tongs things, when, they, when you're holding them and stuff, when you do your heat gun, you can, you know, fix that after. But yeah, so you do that there. With the butterfly wait till it uh gets cool and then you can check it all out and stuff but that's what you do with the melting pot and there's other things let's see um oh my gosh once you get a melting pot you just want to stick everything in it let me see i'll try and find something else all right i had 
messed around making these little flowers ones. Let's try and see what that looks like in there, right? Mm, which one should I stick? There. Pink one. All right. Let's see, right? I'm going to stick it in upside down. Because when you're done with these two, and they're nice and shiny, you can put glitter on them, and they look like glass. I don't know how this is going to be, though, because <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like a little piece gets on there. That's when you use your your gun, your, your heat gun, your heat tool. Sorry, your heating tool. That's what happened to me, and that's what I did. I only used it <laughs> just a little bit, but I'm thinking, hmm. I'm like, why not do this now? I want to make little magnets and things. I love making these into magnets. Um, they're so pretty. But you can, the only thing I don't like is the color. But we'll have to see how that comes out. I'm not sure how that's with the color on the flowers there. Because the way this comes out, I don't know why it does that. But it does. shouldn't use a stick. But. Yeah, see. So then what you do here is that butterfly now. It looks pretty, but you got these little pieces and you don't have to, you can cut them off. It's so easy. Just put them back in your melting pot. You don't want to waste any of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fix this a little bit better with my heat tool, but um, you have to get it nice and warm of course. Oh, let's see. See, you just trying to get it overly, you know, have your, your tongues and whatnot on you when you're holding it. And you can actually manipulate it any way you want at that point. Let's see. I'm going to get it done my fingers. Let's see. You can do that. But the backside's not really going to get seen depending on how you're going to use them. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Cool. Um, another good idea with these is... Um, you do this here, and what you can do is you can hang um, hang them with fishing line. Get a nice branch from, like, outside tree branch that fits your window or even your wall. And then get some fishing line and then, you know, string some of these through and just have them hanging. Be so pretty. I think that would look really, really pretty. So, I mean, that's something I might do in mine. I might add some butterflies as well. But the melting pot is so awesome. Now imagine putting this in a little magnet. You could put it on a clothespin or whatever you want. You know, manipulate it when you want it, how you want it. And of course, you know, you want to just try and get some of the excess off it. Can you echo? Yes. You know what? I've got. Was it? Um. Remember? Do you remember when it first came out, Gail? When, um, oh, where did they, they? They had the. Was it Adirondack? I can't remember. I've got a couple of them. They're just different. And then you could put it in there. But I don't want to do that because, well, I like the clear because I'm only trying to give it like an extra glossy finish type of thing without having to go into using resins or anything like that. This is just, it's just a really, I mean, what you could do too, you could just get your, your Versamark. Um, you just do something like this. And then, um, of course, you know, when you do, you, you get it, and you're going to get it all on that side. Then you're going to put it in your, you know, then you're going to get your embossing powder. You're going to put it on there, put it down, and then you're going to heat it. You have to do it a few times, though, to get it like this. So to get it like this shiny. And it's just, um, I don't know. I think to me, it's just better than having to go and use your expensive, like, glues and things, you know, that kind of give this effect. Just do it this way. I can't remember where the, uh, I, I don't, I couldn't. There's a special ink that that they sold that you put in with it to make it a different color. And yeah, with the flower, it's like a puddle in there now. Let's see, see there. That's it. I have to do like a different color for the flower. The flower wasn't unless I melted some. I'm not sure. But you just keep playing with it, obviously. You just don't like how the color turns to this type of a color. I want it really clear. But it looks good for the butterflies anyway. I 
Oh my God, I was um, sticking everything in this melting pot when I first got it. I'm trying to think what I did. Yeah, it was flowers. I did flowers, but I did big flowers. And I think that's what made them look better. Yeah, so that, that bothers me on the back always. But I mean, you're going to get some bubbles and things like that. It's just not perfect. Nothing's perfect. Nothing, nothing. And if it's handmade, it shouldn't be perfect because then it wouldn't be handmade, right? Um, trying to think what else, too. I know. So I wanted, I did want to um, paint rocks. I have these like really nice rocks from Dollar Tree I wanted to paint. Uh, not in the mood, I guess. I'm trying to do little faces and things on them. Yeah, what's good about this, too, is that you just keep it in there, it'll harden up and then you just save it and you just reheat it and there you go you have it back again but i like doing the um the butterflies it's a lot of fun but at least if i have them all then they'll be ready for when i'm to do something oh and kid that's another thing too if you're really going to string anything through them you might want to put like a little hole before you put it inside the UT because it might be hard to get through. I mean, you could always, you know, remelt it, I guess, with your heat gun. Tool. Heat tool. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Yeah, because I even have the, um, this is the distress oxide that it's on. I mean, that's there. Oh, boy, this is really in there now. I should be on this thing. Yeah, I, I really doused it. I got to try to pick it up now. Hold on. Yeah. That's what happens too. You get it all in there and it's like, mm, how do I get it out? I got this one too flat down there. there. Uh, I mean, it's not the cleanest thing. Obviously, you have to clean up your work. get a little messy but that's not a big deal because you can put it right back in or you can melt it with your heat gun heat tool why do i say that the whole thing's gonna keep hearing me saying that I'm trying to learn to say my words carefully choose my words carefully um where am i gonna put all this yeah so it can get a little messy but when it dries up like i said you just you peel it back right it comes right off and you put it back in and it will melt right back in on you so that's what's good about this stuff So let me see. I got I have more butterflies that I need to color. I don't even know what um oh, let's see. So it's just simple coloring. You don't have to do anything fancy, obviously. Just playing with the prismacolors. But you can use anything, of course, like I said. It doesn't have to be these. However you want it. But I'm thinking I want to add some some glitter to them, and I'm not sure if I want to do that before or after. I'm thinking after might be good if I do it after. The one thing I really liked is when this blended, um, when this bled, like um, for this one here, I'm not like a professional colorist or anything like that. And this here just happened to come out really cool. Yeah, I've got to learn to figure out these lives. They keep changing everything so much on the YouTube. So when I go in there, I'm trying to find everything and my live is going and it's like so boring for the first 10 minutes probably because I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know why they keep changing everything up. As soon as I learn how to do something, there's something new and I forget what I just learned. I wonder sometimes too, maybe if I lower the, I don't even know how that would be if I lowered it. I'm supposed to keep it on what it says for the UT on that melting pot. But yeah, these flowers I think are too little. I don't know if I have any bigger ones. I used to do them on the flowers, they were nice. 
trying to think. You could put anything in there. Uh, let me see if I can find something to show you. All right. I don't know. Let's try and see if this will work. I don't mind if it was bending. It was just plain. That's another thing. I would put it over here, too. All right. So it's just a paper. This is from Dollar Tree, and I had stuck it on here. It was uh, getting bent and stuff. I was like, oh. So I'm thinking I probably should have stuck it in here first. I'm going to try. Yeah, I should be doing uh, the gloves. I mean, the thing, I shouldn't be doing this myself because if this gets on me, it'll hurt because it'll stick like hot glue. Yeah, so I'm like letting it drip. You can cut this so easy too, if it's hanging on, like hanging off the edge or anything. I keep doing this here, trying to get some of it. All right, so let that sit and we'll see how that turns out. Oh, I wonder if you can use color and um, embossing powder. Maybe, yeah, I can't see why you couldn't. I just don't want to mix it in there. I think they sell like little inserts, but you can make yourself, just get parchment paper and stick it in yourself. So this way, if you want to just quickly, you know, if you're in the middle of things, you want to trade it out, I guess, because yeah, you're doing colors and stuff, you can do that. But I'm just sticking with the clear. Um, I wish I knew where I put those other ones that came, that came with it, that goes in there for the for the color. I'm trying to think. That's the thing though, because I mean it would be better if it was if it was all clear, pure white. Oh, but just imagine you spent all that kind of money on a little bottle of wow um or or anything like you know, you're spending almost five dollars or something for a little little bottle of embossing powder. You put that in there, it's gone. So that's the thing that's tough too. You don't want to see it all go. Yeah, see that you could break these little pieces and put them right back in. And just, you can remelt it with your gun or uh, your heat tool or your melting pot, however you want to do it. And you put it back in and stuff like that. But at least it comes out all nice and shiny. And then I got to, you know, use the heat gun to get rid of it. Why do I say that? All right. So I'm going to be correcting myself this whole video, right? Okay. So you can just do like whatever colors you want, obviously. And that's all I did is I just kept playing. I wasn't trying to make any realistic color, like color, like butterflies, obviously, right? Just playing. I don't even know if this is like, let's see. So let's say four people, one's probably me. I have no idea. All right, I'm trying to see what else. Oh, geez. That's a big flower. See something, this, I don't know if I painted. I think I did paint this, that's why it's like that. Yeah, I can't stick this in there because it's too, I don't even know how I made this flower. I don't know. It was, it was a flower that I, that, <laughs> that I altered, or I guess you could say. I actually painted it and stuff. I don't remember. Huh. It's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm trying to make it so that some of the colors will bleed again like that. That was really cool. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to even think, too, if you have your magnets. Mm. Where's mine? Oh, I can do this one too. Oh. All right. So I don't know where that went or what that was. And it's falling off. There's um this is one I did right here. See the little piggy on the little baby and the magnet there. So cute. But the only thing is like, you know, a lot of it eventually it can crack, but then you can just, and it's pretty because you did it in the, in the pot, the melting pot. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't, it's not always perfect. It gets a little messy. You gotta, gotta work with it. 
Um, so what you can do too is probably even just attach it um, when it's hot still. But I wonder if I did that. And then you just, you know, you put your magnet on and then you got nice little magnets for your fridge. You know, you can package them up and set up fours and it's just another little idea for us crafters, right? I'm not sure what else I was trying to do. Let's see. Yeah, that was probably about it. Um, yeah, let's see. I also was um, making some, trying to see how to use the We Have Memories punch boards to uh, make different things and I'm thinking oh, that would be cute if you made little gift boxes and then put your little you can put a little magnet on there so then they could take it off later and use it on their fridge or whatever but but I don't want to make this go too long I just wanted to play around with the melting pot and just show you how to play with it and use it but that's what I do I you, you just, you know, find a nice stamp that you like. Just um, stamp out something. You can do it on your printer if you want to redo more, you know, to make more or whatever. And just keep some stuff with you and color it. And then when you're ready, you get them all and you stick it all in your mouth and pop. <laughs> but I'm actually thinking I'm going to um, work on a mini album. Actually, I've had one for a really long time that I never finished. Let me see. And this one has butterflies on it as well. I'll show you all my different butterfly ideas. And um, this was some of the book. I mean, this is a while ago that I've done this, but these are the butterflies that I put on him. It's probably the same stamp and this was a really long time ago um i made it uh i didn't want it to be like your normal i want it to be like rounded over here so it looks so pretty though doesn't it with the butterflies i think i did these a little bit different though but that's what, i love my butterflies but even if not if you put them on there like that it would just look so pretty so I haven't even finished this yet. It was something I had just left there. It was, um, I just learned a bunch of different things from different crafters and I just make my own. But this is how this, I guess, goes. I guess maybe you stick a picture in there too. And this comes out it's on that side as well. But this is like one of my first mini albums that I did. <laughs> oh my own. There's magnets, all kinds of fun things. Yeah. This one, I don't know. I gotta finish it though. I've been getting in the mood to wanting to do my um mini albums. I just can't believe it. I don't know we know when I started this one, maybe in 2014, 2013. It's a long time to leave something sitting there unfinished. Huh. So I want to make one actually, and I, I mean, I've made a couple and I finished them obviously, but this one I didn't. I have two more unfinished. But there's so many different things you can do with these butterflies. It's so nice. Um, let's see here. If I got the gun, but I'm done. Now I'm gonna melt this. Well, it's also the lobbying spot. And what I'll do is I'll just trim later my scissors if I need to. But you just keep going back and forth on it until you get it the way you like it. That's all. Well. It's not going to be perfect. They're really not made of glass, you know. Let me just give that look. But this is uh, it's a nice 
Hi there. If you got one that has resin and stuff. Um, yeah, I, don't, I used to have some of that, but then my kids put it upside down and it dripped all out. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to have this anymore. <laughs> and when you're done, you just got to get the, the little edges off and stuff. But yeah, I'm not even sure what else I can show you. Anything else you want me to try sticking in there? <laughs> if anyone wants me to put anything in there, I will. Except for my finger, you know, or Parsons. Um, so I guess that's, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that here because I don't know what else to do, but all right, everyone, I want to say thank you for coming and hopefully I'll get this figured out better. So when I do more lives, I can get up there and I'll, you know, have dead silence for like the first 10 minutes, but, um, thank you. Thank you all for coming to see me and hope to see you here again soon.